Let us briefly cover the differences between positional and keyword arguments in Python. I want to preface this explanation by first talking about the differences between parameters and arguments, because many people use these two words interchangeably, but they're not the same. Moving on, we're going to talk about positional arguments, then move on to keyword arguments, and at the end we want to look at what order the parameters need to be in so that we don't get any mistakes. So what exactly is the difference between a parameter and an argument? When we talk about parameters, then we talk about what we have in the function definition. So over here you can see I'm defining a function and the function is conveniently called function. And into this function I'm passing in two parameters over here. So these two things over here, the a and the b, are the parameters. Now that is in contrast to the arguments because the arguments are what I pass into the function call, the values that I'm assigning to the individual parameters. So that is the difference between these two things. So let's make sure we distinguish properly between the two in this video. Let us now cover positional arguments. When we talk about positional arguments, then we are talking about arguments which we're passing into a function call where the order of the arguments actually matters. So let's have a look at this very easy example. Over here I've defined the function positional greet and it is a function that takes two parameter values, the first name and the last name. And all it does is it prints out hello, first name, then it adds a space and then the last name. Now, in this very first function call over here, I've added Bill as the first name and Gates as the last name. And these two arguments are positional arguments because the position that we order uh, these two arguments in matters in this case. So if I go ahead and execute this, you can see that it prints out Hello Bill Gates. But if I now switch up the order of the input values, you will see that the order is also going to be reversed in the console output. So as you can see with positional arguments, the order with when we, which we pass these values into the function call actually matters to us. In contrast to the positional arguments, we also have keyword arguments. And here the order that we use when passing the individual arguments into the function call does not matter anymore. So if we have a look at the example over here, we're defining the function keyword greet. And again, we have a first name, a last name, and this function does exactly the same thing as the function did earlier. It simply prints out hello, then the first name, adds a space, and then puts the last name. Now the function call is where it gets interesting because over here we have the keyword first name, and we're passing in Bill for the first name, and then we have the last name, and we're assigning the word Gates to the last name. So if I go ahead and execute this over here, you can see that it says, hello, Bill Gates. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did earlier, which is reverse the order of the arguments in the function call. So over here, you can see first name Bill, but now it's in the second position, and the last name Gates is now in the first position of this second function call. But if I execute this again, you can see that the result remains the same. So even though I've turned around the arguments, the result remains the same, which is in contrast to what we had earlier. So just remember, with keyword arguments, the order does not matter. Last but not least, let's cover the order of the parameters and the arguments so that we don't get any errors in our code. Over here you can see I have created a very simple uh, function. The function is called profession and all it does is it takes the name, age and job title and puts it in a sentence. So if I go ahead and execute this very first example, you can see it says Max is 27 years old and is a lawyer. All right, so now we have learned that when we have positional arguments, we can put them in any order we like. Of course, it doesn't always make sense. So over here, I've switched up the order in the second example, and you can see that now the sentence is a bit quirky, doesn't make any more sense, but of course, the um, code is still executable. 
One issue that we run into is when we try to pass in uh, positional arguments um, after keyword arguments. So over here you can see I have a keyword argument followed by two positional arguments. But if I try and execute this, I get an error and it even says in the um, explanation down here that the positional argument follows keyword arguments. And that makes sense because these two are positional arguments and this over here is a keyword argument. And since the positional arguments follow the keyword arguments, we cannot execute this line. So how can we go about solving this? We need to make sure that we always pass in the positional arguments before the keyword arguments. So this very last example over here will work again. I can execute it without any problem. It says Max is 27 years old and is a lawyer. And now that simply works because of course I have made the right order over here. And of course you can add multiple keyword uh, arguments into your function call. So perhaps if I add the age here as another um, keyword argument, this will still work. So I'm executing it again and still get the right result. But let me show you one last example where it wouldn't work. And that is if you try to make the um, keyword argument in the middle of the two positional arguments. So this will not work anymore.